future of health care coverage in the U.S. is still up in the air. We're proud of this. We're proud of this effort. Despite pleas like this. If you have Medicare, if you have Medicaid, if you have uh, insurance through the VA or TRICARE or through your employer, none of this affects you. Some say the current House approved plan could put access to substance abuse treatment for millions of Americans in jeopardy. If you have a pre-existing condition in anybody who has an addiction issue, whether it's opioids or alcohol, uh, that pre-existing condition means that they could be denied coverage or the coverage cost would be so high they would be denied coverage. This week, Senator Patrick Leahy tweeted that Medicaid cuts would hobble Vermont agencies' response to the opiate epidemic. Under Obamacare, insurers can't charge sick Americans more for coverage. The Medicaid system was also expanded for low-income adults. But it's looking as though Trump Care would roll back that expansion. And with the way it's currently written, insurers could potentially charge more for people with pre existing conditions, like an opiate addiction. Because of the Affordable Care Act, we were able to expand access to treatment. And that's been such an important part of our um, addressing the opioid crisis. With between 70 and 80 percent of those in treatment on Medicaid, Barbara Samaglio of the Health Department says one saving grace could be flexibility for the states. We would have to seriously um, re either restructure or reduce uh, what we could provide to Vermonters, which would be, I, it's hard to even imagine since, since we've done so much uh, to expand our treatment. With so much still unknown, the department is doing what it can to brace for the changes. The bill has a long uphill battle ahead before making it to the president's desk. In Burlington, Rachel Cars, NBC5 News.